My name is Dr. Noel Arold. I'm a microbiologist and for over 30 years I've been growing exotic mushrooms in this disused railway tunnel in the southern highlands of New South Wales. Another important thing you should know about medicinal mushrooms is what part of the mushroom is used to produce the powders. So let me just explain a little bit of mushroom biology first. If you take a mushroom, underneath the gills of the mushroom there are spores that blow off and that's how they get spread in nature. If you place a mushroom on top of a clean piece of paper overnight and then the next it will drop its spores and the next day you will get what's called a spore print. So if you then scrape some of this off and put it onto some growing medium, sterilised growing medium, then those spores will germinate to form what's called the mycelium. So this is one part of the mushroom and this is like the root system of a green plant. So when the mycelium grows through some sort of food source like this here, then when it's ready it will start to produce the fruit, which is the mushroom. So the mushroom contains the most part of the beta-glucans or polysaccharides that are responsible for the immune system and the health benefits. The mycelium contains only a fraction of the amount that occurs in the fruit body. So there are too many products on the market that are utilising the mycelium grown on some sort of sterilised grain like this, uh, wheat grain or rice grain, and then when it's fully grown, it's then ground up and the powder is made from that. So you can see it's 90% or more of grain and only a small percentage of the mushroom mycelium. So the best products come from using the whole mushroom, the whole fruit body.